Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to download free music tracks that you can use on your YouTube videos from YouTube's audio library. So we'll open up our web browser and in Google we'll type in uh, free, we'll type in YouTube free free audio. So just type in YouTube free audio and then you want to go to the audio library which is youtube.com slash audio library slash music. So when we click on this link, you'll need to have a YouTube account. So it will ask you to log in if you're not already logged in or you need to create an account. And then in the search music, I'm going to search for mix, M-I-X. And then I'm going to download this mix, mix it up tune. So I'm going to click download. And I'm already working on a project at the moment to edit. So I'm just going to drag this to the side a little bit. And I've got this project that I'm working on. So I'm going to drag this music track into here. And you can see the music track right here. So I'm going to minimize this. And the advantage of using music tracks from the audio library is you won't get any sort of copyright infringements. All of the tracks on here are free to use. So you can search from them. You can search by genre. Uh, like You might want to look for jazz music, for example. You can delete this search and then just hit enter then you see all the different tracks. If you click on free music here, it will load it up as default. And, and normally YouTube would display all of the new stuff and it's constantly people uploading new music tracks. Some of them you have to give um, uh, attribution to, yeah? so you have to say that this person created this music track. But normally you'll see a little sort of um, icon on the side here. So if I went to, if I type in mix again, mix, here you'll see this little Creative Commons attribution, so you have to put the uh, the description and stuff of this guy. When you click play, I don't want to click play because this track is a bit, it's not great. But when you click play, it will open up and show you information about that particular music track, what you need to add to your YouTube description. Yeah. So go go ahead and download music tracks. Just as an example, I've downloaded that one. This uh, mix it up, and I'll go to this folder here. And we, I'm actually working on a track, so let's just add that to this particular edit that I'm working on. So here's the edit that I'm doing. This is on this video is going to go up on YouTube soon, and it's about how to install LibreOffice 6.2. So all I do is drag that music track into the timeline here. I'm actually using Movie Edit Pro Premium 2019. So if you're not familiar with this software, I'll put a link to the YouTube description where I've done a tutorial on how to use this software, how to edit and cut tracks and edit video content, all that good stuff. So here in the music, normally what I do is reduce it down to around 10 decibels, minus 10. The reason I do that is I don't want the music to be too loud. Sometimes you load up a YouTube video and you've got your headphones on or you're listening to it on your machine or your computer and the music is just way, way, way too loud. And I don't like music to be too loud, right? So we'll click play. Wow. Hi, and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. Normally what I would do is most music tracks are going to start off pretty slow then the music is going to play later. So I'm going to move to this point of the timeline, click on the music track, cut it, get rid of this beginning part. And normally what I do is just put a little fade at the beginning and then I'll find out when I start speaking which is normally around here, or LibreOffice 6.2, which is the latest version. So we'll open up our web browser, show you how to install Libre. So around here, I would normally, a little bit further maybe, around here, I'll go back, cut the music track, get rid of this part, and then just fade it. We should probably zoom in a little bit here, and then just fade it so that the music track fades as I'm speaking, right? So we click here and play. Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install. So that's it done. That's the music track. We downloaded it from YouTube. We've added it to the video clip. Normally what I would do just to show you um, is I'll go to the end. This is my, like my end part. A little tip for you. This is really nothing to do with audio. But with YouTube, you can put like, um, um, what do they call it? Uh, you can put extra videos at the end right you can display like two or three videos alternative videos for people to watch so try and always leave around 20 what did i put in here let's have a quick check change file length 
try and leave around 20 seconds of a still frame so at the end i've got this hit please hit this like button some people do that some people don't and then i've got access to uh, you know subscribe to my youtube channel you can access these 250 it's actually 300 i need to change that i'm at 300 now um but i normally put this at the end 20 seconds but that's really got nothing to do with audio let's do with audio i drag this down here i'm going to set it back to minus 10 db something like uh, around here and then i'll fade it in and normally i'll start the music just before i finish speaking p web tutorial Look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial Cut it at the end here and I'll fade it out. Now, this video is ready to be exported and I can upload it to YouTube. So, that's pretty much how you can go about downloading audio from YouTube, which is not copyrighted, so you won't get any copyright infringements or any problems or your videos get removed. Try to do that, try and use the audio library. There's so much audio up there in the audio library, you should have plenty of choice. Select all the different genres, check out all the new stuff. Uh, there's almost endless amount of music here that you can use for free and not have a copyright problem I did do a bit of reading up on this and you shouldn't have any problems downloading music tracks from here and Using them on other videos that you upload to Facebook as well So that shouldn't be a problem as well. So you can actually use videos audio from here and use that on your Facebook uh, Page you can use the, the music policies here and read up about it But from what I understand that shouldn't be a problem because normally I create a video and if I'm going to upload it to YouTube, I want to be able to upload it to other social networks like Facebook and so forth and not have a problem there. So you should be OK uh, to upload it. But do check the, uh, the descriptions. When you click play, it will open up and show you a description. Maybe someone says on there, I don't want it uploaded to Facebook or something. Only you can use these on YouTube. But in most cases, you shouldn't have a problem. There are sound effects here. I've never used them. I might actually have a little experiment and... Maybe have a look at sound, you know, some sort of uh, audio sound effects, but I hardly ever use those sort of things. So let's minimize this. Let's close this. That's the end of this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.